Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today I have the Catrice Fall Winter 2019 update for you. Yes, you heard me say that right. Fall Winter. Catrice always releases their Fall Winter collection around the end of July and I was able to get my hands on these products just now. The only thing I've done with these products so far is swatch them. I haven't put anything on my face. So that's what we're doing in this video. Whenever I do the Catrice video, people are always asking, will you be doing Essence? Yes, I will, but Essence is released a month later. So Essence will be released at the end of August, so that hopefully will be up sometime early September, just so you know. Um, I did buy all of these products myself. I did not get them in PR. I will have to substitute a couple of products because not all products are new, uh, but everything that I will be using will be Catrice as much as possible. So they don't have a new foundation or a new powder, and I don't actually have any Catrice um, like mascaras that I love, even though I did repurchase one of them. And I also currently don't have a setting spray by them. But other than that, everything else that I will be using on my face is going to be Catrice. So let's just get straight to it. So I just made sure that my hair is out of the way so that we can get started. I am going to start off with their new primers. There are two new ones. Uh, this is the Tensational, Tensational? Um, dream primer. It's supposed to be priming, hydrating, anti-wrinkle, natural glow, anti-pollution, anti-oxidation, pore minimizing, evening out skin tone, blurring imperfections, and it gives you an F SPF protection of 15. So 10 claims that it's supposed to be doing. It comes with 30 mils and um, I'm going to be using this, I guess, on one half of my face. And then on the other half of my face, I'm going to be using the other primer that I bought. This is the Glow and Care Primer with Super Fruit Complex. I'm not sure what the claims are of this. It's supposed to be more caring. So goji, acai, pomegranate oils, and a satin-like glow. Hydrating plus pore minimizing effect. So not as many claims as this one, um, but they both look very promising when I swatch them. So I'm going to be using that on the other side of my face. So let me shake up primer number one and show you this a little bit on the back of my hand. So it's quite a dark primer. Um, this is uh, more of like a cream rather than anything else. It doesn't really run down or anything like that. So let me just dot this around. So that's the primer on this side of my face. It has a bit of a scent to it. It smells a bit like, you know, sunscreen-like, so it has that very sort of sweet summery smell, which I do quite enjoy. It does give you a little bit of glow. I don't really notice much in terms of like pore minimizing. I don't have too many large pores, so I can't really be the judge of that. And it also doesn't do a lot of evening out, I find, but it definitely does add a nice bit of glow to the skin. You can definitely see a difference between both sides of my face. And I hope you can hear that. They're doing construction work outside, so there's nothing I can do about that, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, so let's try the other one. So I'm going to apply this to the left side of my face, and this is a much runnier primer. You can see that that drips down quite easily. It again has quite a dark shade to it, but I think I can blend it out and make it look good, you could say. So this is very thin and liquidy. All right, so that's the primer on the other side of my face. That looks, I would say, a little bit more dewy, depending on how the lights hit it, than the other side. It's definitely a little bit more glowy. And it also has a smell to it, but it is like a very sort of light fruity smell. It's a bit sweeter than the other one. Uh, and definitely a little bit more fruity, and it smells a bit artificial, I have to say, so I'm not too big of a fan of that. I'm not sure which side I prefer. I think both of them are quite nice. I do like a bit of glow in my primer, and this is supposed to have hydrating properties as well. So for the winter time, this may be a really, really nice one, whereas this seems to be a little bit more um, of an oil control factor as well. So maybe this is better for like right now in the transitional weather. Where, whether, whereas this one might be really, really nice when, this, uh, when the wintertime hits because it does feel very sort of hydrating on the skin, which is really nice. 
All right, so I quickly prime my lids and this product isn't new, but it is Catrice. It is the Eye Foundation by Catrice. I uh, reviewed this first or did a fish first impression on this in my Catrice video of last year because that's when they released this. I really like this eyeshadow primer and I think by now you can get this everywhere uh, because I saw in some recent videos of American YouTubers that Ulta is now also stocking the products that we got last year and like six months ago. Um, um, those are now making its way into the US drugstore, so that's great. Now a new product before I want to actually start applying foundation that I just want to give a whirl is this. And this is their Liquid Camouflage Concealer, which is one of my favorite concealers, but it comes in a green shade. And I'm not too big of a fan of green concealers, I have to say, so I'm a bit hesitant about this, but I definitely have a bit of redness in my face, so I thought I could give it a whirl, use this a little bit over here where I'm a bit more red and over here and on my nose to see what it does in terms of minimizing. This could make me look green for the rest of the day. Fingers crossed I don't. So I think that this, in terms of like canceling out redness, is definitely doing a bit of a job. But I do feel it keeps a bit of that green cast on my cheek area, so I'm really hoping that my foundation can cover that because this is looking like I hope it doesn't like poke through the foundation too much because that's sometimes an issue with green correctors is that they are too obvious. The foundation that I will be using today isn't new to me, but I'm hoping, still hoping that this will make its way to other parts of the globe because this is a really nice foundation. This is the dewy version of their HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and this is called the HD Liquid Radiance. I have mine in 005 Ivory Beige, so I'm just going to quickly throw this on. Foundation has been applied, so this is what the foundation looks like. I don't feel that the green concealer is really shining through too much, so that's a good thing. Um, this is a medium coverage uh, foundation, and I don't see any of the greenness on my cheek poking through. I'm now going to go in with a new concealer that they have relaunched, and I'm very apprehensive about this because it's a stick concealer, and I'm usually not a big fan of stick concealers, because they can be quite drying. This is the Slim Matic Camouflage Stick, high coverage, sweat and waterproof. You don't get a whole lot of product. This is only 1.13 grams. I have mine in Fair Ivory, which is 005. Let me just show you. This is all the product you get. Look, that's not a lot. So I'm not sure how long you will be able to use this for, Definitely not too long, I think. It does have a really nice light shade and it has a very creamy texture, so I can't wait to try this. I'm going to apply this on my under eye and maybe on some areas that I might still need it, but since I've already used that other concealer, I don't think I need too, too much coverage anywhere else. So that's what the concealer looks like when it's applied. It gives pretty good coverage, I have to say. I feel it covers my dark circles really nicely. I do find that it's a little bit, like, it tugs a little bit when you apply it to the skin, so that was a bit uncomfortable. I definitely could feel it, like, pull on my under eye area a little bit. Maybe it's just because I have really weak and flappy under eyes, who knows, I'm not sure. Uh, it did blend in very easily, so that was great. It took little to no effort to try and blend it in. Before we move on to powder, I wanna give an honorable mention to a product that I know you can now get if you're in the US. This is now sold at Ulta. I saw Emily Noel featuring this in one of her recent videos, and this is the One Drop Coverage Concealer, and it has become one of my favorite concealers of all time. I already used one of these up completely, so that just goes to show, and I wanted to get it back up, so so I thought I could show that in this video as well. Not something I'm using today. I'm going to keep that unopened. Um, maybe use up the other one first. Um, and for powder, I also don't have a new product, so I'm just going to quickly whip that on, and then we'll move on to brows. Powder that I've applied is another Catrice product, and this is the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof. This is just a translucent pressed powder that I do really enjoy. This is already my third or fourth one of these. For brows, they have something new. They have the Brow Comb Pro Micro Pen. And this is a bit crazy. I got mine in the lightest shade, 010 Ash Blonde. 
And usually this is a pretty good shade for me, but when I swatched it, it looked a bit dark. But what this has, and I'm not sure, you probably can't see it from there, uh, but it has like a three prongs, like three sticks to it, and it's quite stiff and actually hard on the skin. And then when you swatch it, you get like three little lines um, that apply the product. It also says that you need to store this with the cap down. So you do have to store it like this so that the product will actually go into the tip, I guess. Um, but that is the Brow Comb Pro Micro Pen. So let's see how this looks in my brows. I've applied the product to my brows, but I should already tell you that I've been using it in my brows for the past few minutes, and I'm not sure if I can show you this, but if I try to now swatch it, none of the product is coming off. So it seems as if there's only very little product in this tip. Maybe it's because it was lying down when I got it. So I'll definitely be storing it like this to hopefully make sure that there is enough product. It worked easily enough. I was able to apply a little bit more in this brow than in this one. Um, but it sort of combs through it. It's a really weird feeling. It feels a little bit scratchy though. I think that if the applicator was a bit softer, this would have been more pleasant to use. Um, and I also feel that the shade may be a bit too red for my personal taste. Not necessarily too dark, but too red, which is a bit of a shame. I quickly finished off my brows with the Essence Make Me Brow. That's another favorite product, but um, I didn't have another brow gel by Catrice, so that's why we're using that. And then we're moving on to face products. The first thing I have for you is this face palette. This is the new Three Steps to Contour face palette. This is in 010 All Rounder, and it comes with a contour, a bronze, and a highlight shade. I'm mainly going to be focusing on the contour shade because I have another bronzer to show you, but it, it looked like it had three really good shades, and I have to say that I quite enjoy these little Catrice face palettes that they do, so I'm going to contour using this lightest shade. It looks to be light enough, and it seems pretty cool toned as well, so I can't wait to try this. Let me swatch it for you real quickly. Oh, of course I swatched it in a bit of a weird spot. So that's the contour, the bronzer, and the highlight. So those are the three right there. All right, so that's the contour done. And I hope I can show you this without dropping everything. Can you see how much kick up there is in the pan? It's very powdery. However, I do really like the effect this gives. In real life, this doesn't show up that much. If I look in the mirror right here, it really looks like a wash of color, but on camera, it really shows up a lot better and a lot more intense. I seem to not have blended it very well here. It seems to have grabbed on a little bit, but that's something that I can't even see here in real life. I don't see like a darker patch anywhere, so it's a bit strange. I've actually had the reverse effect with another Catrice product where it barely showed up on camera, but you could see it very well in real life, which is their cream contour stick that I really liked. I'm not sure whether this is part of their new line, but it was definitely new to me, and it seemed to be a new product that wasn't on the website before. And that's the Clean ID uh, Mineral Bronzer SPF. This is a vegan bronzer made with 84% natural ingredients, and this is in the shade light medium. And the reason why I wanted to pick this up is because I don't really own a lot of Catrice single bronzers because they are usually too dark for me. And this seemed to be a bronzer that would work for me. So maybe if I swatch this for you. So that's this bronzer. And as you can see, it's a lot more yellow toned and a lot lighter than the bronzer in the little palette. So I'm gonna use that right now. I think this may actually be part of a limited edition that they're doing at the moment. So I am really liking the look of this bronzer, especially how it bronzed up my forehead. I really like that. Um, and it's a, it's a really nice tone for me. I like yellow tone bronzers in general. I think they look pretty flattering on me. And this is a really nice one. So this will maybe a good single uh, bronzer by Catrice to keep around because the other one that I used to have was a bit too dark. So maybe my next declutter, I can get rid of that and then keep this one. They also came out with a new highlighter 
palette. There are two versions of this. There is a bronze one and there is a bl blush one. Since I already got the little contour kit, I decided to go with the blush one. This comes with two highlighters and a highlighter blush. And this is the Luminize uh, Highlight and Blush Glow Palette. And this is in Rose Vibes only. And ooh, let me not blind you. This is what it looks like. It's got a like champagne-y highlight, a rose gold highlight, and then like a peachy coral highlight. This very much reminds me of like a more like glowy version of NARS Orgasm. Like that, it's that sort of like pinky, peachy kind of shade. This is a really nice rose gold, but this will be perfect as a highlight on me. So I will be applying that right now. There's the highlight. Do you see that? That is a lot of shine, I can tell. Uh, it's very sort of glass-like in the viewfinder. In real life, it has that sort of like white shift to it almost. It's really strange. But when, I, when the light doesn't hit it, it's not too noticeable either. So it's a very, well, not natural looking, but a very sort of blends in with your skin kind of product. I do have to say that it emphasizes like my texture that I have here on my cheeks. In real life, it definitely makes lines and sort of things up here stand out a little bit more than I would like. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with that highlighter. That looks fun. They have come out with new blushes and I was very curious to find these because they seem to be like an updated version of two of my favorite blushes they ever did, which were their like luminizing blushes, I think they were called. I have two of those still till this day, even those those have been discontinued years ago. I have um, the like new rendition is the blush box glowing and multicolor. So these are, this is a peachy one. And then this is a berry one. The peach one is called Dolce Vita, which I don't know why, but this appeals to me a lot. And then this is its Wine Oak Clock. So that's like a mauve nude kind of shade. Seems to be a bit darker than what I usually like. And since it's a summertime and I like sort of like more warm tone blushes, I think I'll go with this one. So this is Dolce Vita. And I think it will also go nicely with the rest of the look that I'm going to create, so. So I could totally dust up the packaging after using it because it's that sort of powdery, you could say. But I do really like this. It's like a very nice, natural, flushed kind of look, which I do really enjoy. We've got the brows done. We've got the face done. That means it's time for eyeshadow. I quickly prime my eyes using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and a The Body Shop eyeshadow that I always use for that purpose. And for eyeshadow, I've picked up two of their new palettes. This sort of style of palette, Catrice does them every single time. There are a few that stick around for a long time and then they have the more like trend editions. This is called the Spicy Rust Collection. And I have to say I was quite impressed with this when I swatched it. Usually these aren't my favorite but I wanted to pick it up because I know that a lot of people are always curious after these, especially if they do like a very wearable color scheme like this. Um, so this comes with like some rusty reddish brownie shade, some bronzes as well. And this is also one where you get a couple of mattes. Usually these are all shimmer. They've now come in with a couple of mattes. So there you have the swatches of the eyeshadow palette starts here and then here that's the contour palette uh, so these are quite nice and they swatch pretty nicely these do have a tendency usually to muddy up together on the eye but when i was swatching these the one that caught my eye the most was this this is brand new this is their crystallized rose quartz eyeshadow palette there is another one but that seemed to be a little bit more neutral officially this is also called sister of my soul and I don't know why, but when I saw the color scheme of this, it just spoke to me. I wanted to try this. You get a bunch of neutrals, but all of them have a bit of a, like a plummy undertone, especially in like this corner here, you get a bright purple. Um, so um, I will insert a picture of the swatch that I did earlier right now. But this is what I will be using on my eyes right now uh, to show you what it looks like. 
So I've scooched you in a lot closer so you can closely see what this eyeshadow uh, look is going to look like. And I'm going to be focusing on these shades here because I think that especially a purple like this can be quite difficult to do. So I want to see if I can sort of fluff this on the cre in the crease and onto my lower lash line and then use this all over the lid. Um, and then maybe pull in something else, maybe this to blend things out. Um, stories may be nice as well to throw in in the inner corner. Um, we'll just see. I'm just going to throw something together right now. All right, so that is the eye look done. I used a few more shades than I, th I had anticipated. I also pulled in Soulmate right here to line my eyes a little bit. I used Memories on the lower lash line, which I blended out with Precious. That is what, what is in my crease, actually. And I have to say that for like a satin matte purple like this, it went on pretty well. Um, these two shimmers are really gorgeous, too. Um, so I've now used one, two, three, four, five shades, and I have another five to go. I did do put the, a little bit of this on my brow bone, but hey, it's a cream shade. You can't do no wrong with a cream shade. Something that I did repurchase, but that's not new to me or to the line, is the Waterproof Glam and Gold Doll Mascara. If you follow me, you know that I like this as a top coat if I'm using a uh, like regular uh, mascara that isn't waterproof. I use that as a waterproof top coat, you could say. And it's cheap and cheerful. It's like four euros and it works really well. Last but not least, lips. They didn't have too many like new lipstick formulas or anything like that. But what I noticed is that one of my favorite lines from them is now in a new packaging. These used to be their ultimate matte fa uh, lipsticks. And these are now called the Demi Matte Lipsticks. And they also came out with some new shades. So I picked up three of these. This is a red. This is 050 Boss Up. It's like a really nice vibrant red. This is 090 Forbidden Mauve. So that's Forbidden Mauve. And then last but not least, we have Nude Crush Every Day. And this is like a really nice pinky nudie shade. Um, so if you swatch them all together, and this is 050 Boss Up, this is 090 Forbidden Mauve, and this is 100 Nude Crush Every Day. And I think I want to apply that mauve shade to because to my lips because that just it speaks my name. So as I already mentioned, these lipsticks are nothing new. They just come in new packaging. The formula is the same as I remember from the other matte lipsticks that they do. Perhaps these are a little bit thinner almost. Um, but yeah, these shades are stunning and will make a good addition to my uh, ever-growing lipstick collection. Um, it doesn't have as much purple as I would want. It's definitely more pink, I feel. Um, this mauve shade, I was hoping would have a bit more purple to it, but yeah, it's, I think this works pretty well. Um, maybe I can apply some of this lighter shade in the middle to make a bit of an ombre. So that's that lighter shade right there. So that is looking pretty stunning, I have to say. For the finishing touch, I went in with the Essence uh, You Better Work Fixing Spray, which is of course not Catrice. So that is something I won't be mentioning anything else with, but this is the finished look with some of these new Catrice products. I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. The only thing I'm a little unsure of is the concealer, because I do think it's starting to pull into some fine lines in my under eye area. So fingers crossed. It won't be too bad and that it stays looking nice and smooth, but it does seem to be pulling into the fine lines a little bit. Loving the lipstick. 
I'm really, really surprised by the eyeshadow actually because I have had not great luck with Catrice eyeshadow palettes in the past. Um, the primers will have to see how whether they make my makeup last longer and how it all pl plays out. So I definitely need to give those a bit more of a whirl. The bronzer I'm pretty impressed by, but that may be limited edition, so may be difficult to get your hands on. And these little blushes and also this highlight palette seem to be really nice products. I definitely need to try them more. This, this is just a first impression. I just bought these products, so I can't know. But as uh, time progresses, I will definitely be churning out uh, the reviews of these products over on my blog, so go follow me on there if you don't already do that. So that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you are looking forward to me doing this kind of video, but with Essence products in about a month's time, then please give this video a thumbs up to let me know you're excited for that as well. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more by me. I've dubbed August Eyeshadow Palette Month here on my channel, so all of the content coming your way this month is going to be eyeshadow palettes. So I hope to see you in my next video going live on Sunday. Bye!